this shit don't stop. I don't care what them haters say. I'ma make it happen. I'm on the grind each and every day. I'ma make it happen. It doesn't matter what a buster do. I'ma make it happen. I'ma show you how a hustler do. I'ma make it happen. I don't care. Everyone and welcome back to wind down creation so today i am making a craft video in the craft video we are making rolling trays so i'm going to show you how to make rolling trays they're really quick really fast um unless you're trying to get real like extra with it then it might be a little longer but mines are going to be really quick and really mines <laughs> mine my video fuck whatever my video is going to be really quick and just um tune in so you can purchase these metal trays from the dollar tree once you purchase your tray you want to wipe it down with alcohol and then you can pick any color that you want and spray paint your tray once your tray is dry then you can start adding your names and stickers on your tray well, first I'm going to go through this one tray with you and then I'm going to speed up the process. So I got the actual logo off of their actual IG page. So I kind of screenshotted it. Don't do that. I think that's a copyright thing. Oops. And I screenshotted it and then I went to Office Depot and I used their, I think it's called the 64 count paper. And that's how I got the big Flickin' Ashes podcast picture. The next thing I used was my Cricut machine. So I used the Cricut machine to actually put their IG names on their rolling tray. I wanted to do that layered effect. So I did a white background and I added the color. The color corresponds with the color of the rolling tray. So for example, this tray that I'm doing, his name his IG name will be blue because the tray is blue, but I have white on the background so you can see the actual name on there. So pretty much what you do is to layer your font. That's a whole nother video that I would have to make. If you want to see that video, I will actually make a video to show you how to layer your font. Um, but after I layered the font and I um, got it on my transfer paper, I put it on the rolling tray. The hardest part about this is that you want to use the transfer paper, but you don't want the transfer paper to take up your paint. So even though the paint is dry, the transfer paper is so sticky that it may take up your paint. You will see later in my video where it has done that. This particular rolling tray, though, did not give me any trouble. I had no trouble with this rolling tray I mean it went smoothly next you're going to grab your Mod Podge you're going to Mod Podge the actual uh, paper because the other two things are stickers so you're going to actually have to Mod Podge that onto your tray so just grab your Mod Podge whichever Mod Podge or you can even use regular glue whatever you want to use I, I love Mod Podge so I will always use Mod Podge but grab your glue and glue your picture to the rolling tray once your picture is secured then all you have to do is open up the stickers and stick them on there and since they're stickers that's the easiest part so you just open up your stickers place them where you want to place them and then your rolling tray for the most part is done so then you just want to sit this out to dry and then work on your next one now, if you're only doing one then you're done uh well not really done Unless you like the matte look. If you like that matte look, leave it. If you don't, you will epoxy at the end, which I did epoxy at the end. So at this point, you're pretty much done. Your pictures is on there. Your sticker is on there. And then your name, um, your IG name is at the top. Now, this is when things got tricky. I don't know if this person in real life is hard headed, but this rolling tray gave me all the trouble. So this is the rude behind rolling tray that decided to give me a hard time first so when i took the actual transfer paper off of this one it snatched the black paint but if your name is samantha you're going to fix it so what i did was i grabbed black actual paint remember i spray painted so i grabbed black paint and i painted those areas where the paint was snatched off so because it's paint, 
you're going to have to do that like one, two or three times. I believe I did it three times before it couldn't see the silver anymore. So once you've done that, then you continue doing what I said before, Mod Podge, and then putting your sticker onto your rolling tray. Y'all, I'm not even going to get into how frustrated the last one made me. So vinyl is a B-I-T-C-H. I know hair was ripping it was doing everything like lifting up it was just doing everything under the sun so it beat me in the end but I didn't want to show y'all that struggle so I'm cutting that out and I'll show y'all what happens at the end <laughs> so as you can see I do not have any red on the 93 but I actually ended up liking how it looked anyway so I finished off everything and this is how the rolling tray looked in the end So I hope that you like this video and let me tell y'all, I did struggle. I did struggle with the vinyl. I did struggle with the vinyl, but if you decide that you're going to make your own rolling tray and you follow my directions, please tag me at wind down creations and let me see what you created because I would really, really, really love to see what you have created and what you rolled up on it i'm just kidding no i don't really care about that part also be sure to tune in to the flicking ashes podcast and be sure to follow these three young men okay so follow 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 <laughs> it's so much to follow so follow all three of them on ig and then make sure that you follow their flicking ashes podcast page and then make sure you like comment and subscribe on their videos as well as this video as well as my drink video as well as my channel subscribe to me subscribe to them and make sure that you do that and always remember to live love laugh craft and drink bye